Every second, without you noticing, billions of unknown particles travel through your body. How do we even know that these particles exist? And how can we learn more about what they are? Our sun can be found on the outskirts of the Milky Way. The astronomer Vera Rubin discovered something surprising by studying similar stars in other spiral galaxies. Stars far from the center moves too fast and should fall out of their orbit. There must be something else pulling on them that we cannot see. Einstein's theory of gravity taught us that large masses can bend light. We can see distant galaxies stretched and bent out of their usual shapes. Something very massive must lie between us and these galaxies, distorting the picture. This we cannot explain without large masses of dark matter. We believe that dark matter is made up of a new kind of particle. To test this idea, we tried to produce dark matter. Using Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, we can make new matter as long as we have enough energy. That's why we collide protons in the Large Hadron Collider, a gigantic particle smasher at CERN. Maybe this is how we find dark matter. Deep underground protected from interfering radiation, strange experiments are being conducted. We wait for a very rare event, a dark matter particle colliding with a regular atom. By measuring how much energy these collisions leave in the surrounding matter, we can learn how dark matter interacts with the atoms we are made of. As much as 80% of all the matter in the universe is thought to be dark matter. Occasionally, two passing dark matter particles will collide and be transformed into ordinary matter and antimatter at very high energies. Using experiments far about the surface of the Earth, we hope to measure the degrees of these rare collisions in cosmic rays. During the next five to ten years, we expect one of these three experiments to give us the answer to the mystery of dark matter. <laughs>